Hi darlings, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today is day two of Christmas week here in my channel. And thank you to all of you that joined me in my last video yesterday for day one of Christmas week. And today I am featuring Dayspring. Now, day, I am an affiliate for Dayspring and I know many of you guys know that I have um, my Dayspring stuff linked below. But I just wanted to share that they have always been a company that I shop with. I love that they always have great um, decor items, gifts. Um, we all know Dayspring as the original, you know, Christian card makers. They're like Hallmark, but for Christians. <laughs> and I love all of their devotionals. The fact that they always have a great, um, how would you say, a great variety of resources, as in Bible studies, Bible journaling things, um, Bibles, encouragement cards, um, a little tags that you can leave that have encouraging words, calendars, planners, you name it, Dayspring has it. So I'm sharing a couple of goodies that they have sent to me so that you guys can see what they have in store. And also, today is the first day of their Black Friday sale. They have 30% off in their shop with the code Friday. So I will link all of that information below. Let's dig into the goodness, guys. So I'd love to start off with these books that I received from Dayspring. Shana Noel is the um, author of all of these books and she contacted me and through Dayspring they have sent me these books. The first one I'd love to share with you is The Wonder of Christmas. We all know that we are going into the Advent season and many times if you are a mom or your grandma or an aunt or an uncle that has kids around, many times our kids want to do Christmas crafts with us or a Bible journal with us us and so this is a great way for you to sit down with your family and do some bible journaling together or just some regular regular devotional bible study um what have you but you can do that together with your kiddos so this is the wonder of christmas and it's 25 days of advent journaling for girls like i said this is by shauna noel and this is a great gift as you can see it says two from date and we have the the front of that. Then we have the contents. Now I want to read the back because it gives us a little bit more of a glimpse of what you can find in here. It says, just as every child excitedly awaits to open their gifts on Christmas morning, they can experience the anticipation of Christ, God's gift to us. The wonder of Christmas, the wonder of Christmas opens young hearts to the greatest joys with 25 kid-friendly verses, readings, and prayers representing each day of Advent plus creative sparks, fun crafts, and activities. Journaling ideas and things to draw, all building towards a celebrated morning when we awake to the glorious gift of a child king born in a manger. Love that. So we not only have devotional content, we also have verses, we have um, different types of prompts, we also have creative sparks is what she calls it. And so in the table of contents, we see day one, what the topic is. Um, then we can see that it says that the bonus project family, and we see all of these bonus project projects that are kind of prompts that you can do in or outside of the book. I love the whimsical tone of this book because it really brings back that childlike faith that we should be having. And I love this in the time of Advent because it's about a child king. So this is perfect. We can see devotional content, we can see scripture, we see prayer. Then we open up to that creative spark. It have, gives you some space for you to journal and also some space for you to do some art. So we see that from day one all the way to day, yeah, 25. And there's lots of space for you to write, lots of whimsical um, art. I love that these illustrations we have seen um, sometimes in our journal, Bible journaling with Illustrated Faith love 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 this and i just want to say this does say that it's for girls but honestly i would use this book during the advent season and i would also do this with my boys i have two boys and a girl so there is no shame in my game i would use this with all my kids so what a wonderful advent book to do as a family for the advent season so that is book one just setting this to the side. Okay, and now we're moving on to book two. This one is, I know it's a dear project for Shauna on her heart. She actually did this with her daughter, Addison. 
as you can see in the bottom, it says Shauna Noel with Daughter Addison. And look how beautiful the art is on here. Lots of beautiful floral, soft, neutral colors. These butterflies that I can't get enough of. And this is called Sealed with Love, a daughter, mother-daughter faith journal. And in the back, they have some more information, and I love reading these because this really gives us a look inside. In this journal, moms and daughters will help develop a real lifelong friendship rooted in God's love. With thought-provoking prompts and plenty of free space for creative expression, you'll have fun discovering one another as you approach topics such as forgiveness, trust, and peace as well as friends, doubts, and awkward moments. And you'll do it together as a team, learning and growing in your relationship with each other and with your loving father. I love that. I love the um, thought of doing a faith journal with your daughter and kind of having that as a memory. It's such a great bonding moment. Um, it's such a great gift for you to give your daughter and to kind of create that relationship rooted in the word. That's beautiful. So you see this has the two from date. Like I said, great book. This would also be great um, if you're an aunt and you want to do this with your niece or if you are an aunt and you want to give this to your sister so she can do it with her daughter. Um, whatever way you want to do this, this would be a neat um, gift to do it with. So let's take a look inside. I'm loving all of these beautiful florals. So on one side, you'll see it says daughter and date and there's a prompt and then my prayer, lots of space for her to journal. And then you have the same um, prompt, the date, and then prayer and mother on the other side. So you're gonna see the same type of layout throughout the book. And it goes from day one all the way to day, I believe it's 61 or 62, 62. So you have 62 prompts in this book. So this is a good two months of you journaling. And you don't have to do this every day. You can do this once a week. Um, I love how Shauna Noel and her daughter did it. They kind of left it in each other's rooms and um, they shared that. And I love that um, kind of relationship where you can actually do something fun like this together with your daughter. What a great memory. The last book is the most recent book and this is the one that is all the rave, My Faith Book. Life is messy and God is good. Capture it here. Love that. So this is kind of like a mix of scrapbooking, but Bible journaling, but regular journaling. And it's so cool. I love it. And what a great way to document. The difference between this book and the other books is these are binded like this. But I want to show you how this is binded. This is more of a binder effect. It has this string that keeps it closed. And inside it has this coil. Now this is great because although we have this much thickness, the inside of the book is actually not that thick, which means that you have plenty of room for you to make this really chunky. And I know you guys love chunky like rings or mini journals, uh, mini albums, and you can do the same thing here. So. This is just a note from Shauna. Hey friend, this book is for documenting your faith walk in a totally personalized way. There is zero rules, make it your own. By recording your faith story, you'll be able to see all the ways God is showing up for you. At the end, you'll have a beautiful keepsake to treasure for years to come. Glue your photos, write out your prayers, tape it on your sermon notes, scribble down your praises, however you want to tell your fave stories, just do it your way. Then she has some of her favorite art supplies. Now let me show you the beautiful artwork in here. I'm just going to flip through this quickly. Love this quotes I am loving. So you can put all your favorite quotes here and you can really fill up these pages. Do not be afraid. Look at this beautiful um, watercolor palette. Don't be afraid to add your pictures, to um, record your prayers, even over these beautiful photography pages. Fill it up. Do everything that you feel is on your heart. Count it on joy. So beautiful. Lyrics to my favorite worship songs. I'm sorry, worship song right now to God. So this is kind of like a cute letter. And I'd love to do like a pocket here so can I can actually put a letter to God in there. How fun would that be? 
This is swatches. I love this because you can do um, all your swatches of your favorite medium. Let's say it's pit markers. You can do all your pit markers, your favorite colors. Or you can break it up. You can do pit markers on one side, watercolors on another side. You can do inks, um, then watercolors, and pit markers, and neon colors. I mean, you can break this down however you want. How fun is that? You can do washi tape in here. That is... I think that's what I'm gonna do. I would love to do a washi tape mural in here of my favorite washies. Love this um, sunflower. You know, you guys know I love sunflowers. Proof of your love. So you can do like a praise report here. I am not made for fear. Love all this journaling space. I love that this is more of a do what you want, DIY type of journal. You can really make this your own. I love this and when I did a live showing this book I said a cute way to kind of um, mix this up is you see a picture of I'm guessing her feet here but what I would do was take a picture on my phone of my feet then cut out the picture and put it right on top of here how fun would that be and you can do it with um, pop dots so they kind of pop off off the page that would be fun your promises are in my heart I would fill this up with verses of God's promises Cover this page in beautiful prayers. Oh, love this page. Little dreams become big dreams with you. Walk by faith. This beautiful grid. Tools I use in my fear. Love this. I love this pie chart. The math lover in me loves that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How fun, how fun. So just flipping through these last pages so you can get a look at what that looks like. This would be beautiful to do prayers for missionaries with the world map over there. Holy hope. Amen. Study notes. I love this look at, I'm guessing Shauna's desk. That looks like Shauna's desk. He is greater than I, forgiven. Prayer for friends. What a beautiful way to document prayers for your friends. Love first, heaven meets earth. Oh, talk about gorgeous. Based on scriptures, who can we? Love like, give like, pray like, lead like, learn like, praise like, follow like, study like. Some study note space. Light in the darkness, light in the darkness. That's beautiful. Love, 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 love that. These are like um, paint swatches that you can pick up like at the um, paint store. I love that at your hardware store. And look, she has them filled with verses. Verses and then the actual words. Love that. God's love is. Amen. Speech bubbles. Love that. We are almost done here. There are a lot of beautiful pages in here. I just wanted you to get a glimpse at them all. I love this neutral palette here. Fun, fun. Where you go, I will follow. Love that. Different books of the Bible. I will praise you. More books of the Bible. And then these were these were actually two blank pages. But what I did was some swatches on my live. And so I'm going to show you. All of these are just some tools that I had on hand quickly. This is a Versa Magic Chalk Ink, a Vers the Versafine Chalk Ink. This is the illustrated pink, and these um, leaves were stamped in the Stazon. This is two oxides. I did, I believe it's, I want to say it's faded jeans, and then this one's um, pine needles. And then these are just pit markers. And I did this on the live so they can see if there was any bleed through. Ladies, this page is thick. So I would say the only one that kind of bleeded through was this one right here, and that is the VersaFine. And it's not bleeding through, it's just a little shadowing, but everything else looks really good. So that kind of gives you a glimpse of what type of mediums you can use in this book. And that is the end of my faith book. And the last thing I wanna show is these cards that were sent to me by Dayspring as well. This comes with, 
these beautiful cards. Now, I don't know about you, but I usually do um, Christmas pictures. Well, not Christmas pictures, family pictures, and I do my Christmas cards with those. But because of this year with COVID, we did not do any family pictures. But if you are that type of person that did not get to do that, or you just don't do family pictures like that, this is a great way to get some beautiful artwork and some Christmas uh, cards that you can send out to friends and family because we all know that that's the way that we can communicate the best right now. And I love this. It has this gold foil. These were designed by Katie Girl Designs. So beautiful. And it says, blessings of the God design above and beyond kind this Christmas in the coming new year. No one has ever imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. First of Corinthians 2, 9. I love this verse, but look at that art. So beautiful. And so these are definitely the ones that I'm going to be sending out this year. And I'll probably include like a little home picture, maybe just printed on my computer in here. And then look how cute these envelopes are. They match the design love that so this is definitely something i would pick up just the box of some pretty cards with a godly message that i can send out during my christmas time so that is it that is a wrap up of what i got from day spring and what day spring a couple of the things that day spring has to offer and so I do have a um, reel over on my Instagram where I show a card holder where I feature the cards that they sent me and how you can use them. But today I would love to give one of you guys this Wonder of Christmas 25 Days of Advent Journaling um, book for one of you guys. That way I can give you a little thank you for being here each and every video. So what do you have to do for this one? All you have to do is make sure that you're following me over on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And what you're going to leave below is your favorite holiday tradition. So whether it's baking cookies or making ugly sweaters or what have you, leave your favorite holiday traditions. I'm going to leave mine. Let's share it together and see how we're all doing it across this beautiful community. And I will be picking a winner. It will run for 48 hours. I want to make sure that I can ship this out in time. Um, that way you can get it at least the first days of Advent and you can use this during Advent. So again, all you have to do is leave below your favorite holiday tradition. Now be going through and commenting. Thank you so much. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for joining me for day two of Christmas week here on my channel. And thank you so much. God bless, darlings. Bye.